We're driving a 2019 Acura NSX. Yes, I drove one of these previously in the Micah Drives videos and on Kelly Blue Book, but this time we're putting that real world um, supercar concept to the test with a road trip. Coming up in a little bit, Evie's going to drive the NSX. Go. <laughs> We'll see how that goes, but first, information explosion. Kaboom! We're gonna do something today that I really love, kind of like in a Transformers movie where you have a bunch of like Chevy Suburbans driving in a line. We're gonna be driving along with two other NSXs from LA up to Laguna Seca Raceway near Monterey. But first, let's talk about the interior. Out of all the things that are happening, we're gonna begin here. Okay, actually, no, we're not going to begin with the interior. Hold it! Yeah, stop the graphics! <laughs> okay, because, uh, so the route we're taking is a really fun one. We'll put the interior stuff uh, back a little bit. I want to talk a little bit about driving impressions. What vehicle is that? Is that a Chevy Suburban? It's a Chevy Suburban. <laughs> I'll, I'll be damned, there's a Chevy Suburban at the front of the line. There's no way this isn't going to become a Transformers movie. <laughs> This is why it's important to try on your dreams. Um, following a Suburban uh, in a pack is actually very boring because they're really slow. <laughs> I mean, unless, again, that thing transforms into like a, a really oh. sweet robot slash helicopter, I'm, I'm just out of it, I'm not, I'm not interested. So not at all surprising, a lot of grip from the um, Continental tires, 19 inch up front, 20 in the back. The steering is interesting because it manages to simultaneously be mellow enough on center that if you're going really fast, it doesn't feel darty. And yet, just as soon as you get off center, there's this immediate reaction from the chassis. So it's simultaneously stable and agile. Is that agility because of Acura's patented super handling all wheel drive? <sighs> kind of, yes. I think uh, the super handling all wheel drive really comes into play when you're exiting a corner and trying to put power to the ground. Using uh, one of the two electric motors up front, one for the right, one for the left, you can use the outside front tire, overdrive that to help pull the car through the corner. And then the other thing, uh, because it's got this hybrid powertrain um, with two motors up front, one in the back supplementing the uh, twin turbo V6, you've got this instantaneous torque. Ooh, and then the brakes, oh the brakes. <laughs> Ooh, those are nice brakes. The brakes are the uh, optional carbon ceramic units. They're not inexpensive, but they um, have just this wonderful immediacy at speed. My one complaint would be that at low speed, they're very, very touchy. It's very hard to come to a smooth stop. It's, I think in this case, a sacrifice I'm willing to make because uh, when you come around a corner and there's you know, the uh, fuel truck that uh, <laughs> would make a really dramatic explosion for a movie. But if uh, you don't run into it, you don't get the dramatic explosion. <laughs> That's true, and because I'm the guy driving the car, I'm okay with that. Okay, So, good. But that immediate, <laughs> firm pedal feel, the confidence that the, the car is going to stop, no matter what abuse you've thrown at it before that, is, um, is very nice. Okay, we're back on track, interior. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> you don't like the interior? No, I love the interior. It's just, there's so much exciting driving happening. Pew, I don't pew. want to focus on the interior. Sorry, baby, there's a format. We're slaves to the format. <laughs> Sweetie, generally speaking, do you like the look of the NSX? I think it feels really sporty, but still elegant, which is probably the most generic thing you could say about it. Hey, it, generic or not, <laughs> if it's true, it's true. Uh, one thing I'm noting right now is that you've got these uh, metallic trim pieces, and my first thought is, well, is this going to reflect light into my eyes? And based on this spot right here, the answer is yes, depending on where the sun's coming from. What I think is most significant about the interior is that 
I'm sorry, forget about all of you. This vehicle <laughs> is made for me. The hand positions for the nine and three here are utter perfection. My, my thumbs just slot right here. There's no pressure points. There's no nothing like scratchy. Your uh, hands wrap right around. It's like they took a mold of my hand, <laughs> my partially cleansed hand, and made a steering wheel out of it. Let's do the uh, elbow test. Not only do you have reasonably um, cush padding on the outboard and on the inboard, but there's no limitation to the armrest because it continues all the way forward along the center here and on the outboard. So no matter where your arms are, there's somewhere to rest. I'm gonna give a solid two elbows up. Wow. I know. Seat comforts, again, molded to my body, just about seat perfection. And I, I'm not one to lean on hyperbole. There's amazing lateral support, but it doesn't impinge on my shoulders. It's firm, but cush. It's simultaneously two forms of chair, uh, except it's in a, a supercar. I would love to talk about this glove box. So what's up with the glove box? It's been a little bit in, intruding into my space, and I thought, well, that's okay. That's so we can put more things in there. No, it's just absurdly thick. I it doesn't even match the line of the dash. It's suspiciously thick. Some Acura designer's like, I've got to get weed across the border. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like there's a flask function or something like that. Oh, that's, yeah. okay, now I'm yeah. on board. No rear windows, so no rear window test, but we can test the visors, stealing once again from the straight pipes. And I'm gonna say this is not an ultra fail, but the visor doesn't even rotate, and it certainly doesn't extend. At some point later, I'm gonna have like a, a rag hanging from here, just bringing down the entire vibe of the NSX. Let's talk about cargo space. There's um, no real door storage. I've got my audio recorder in the grab handle over here on the door. There's it actually fits quite well. For the things we needed to bring along on this trip, it's working well. Yeah. There's a space for my banana. Yeah, yeah, we got a ba banana nook. We've got, I was gonna say banana holster, because that's a <laughs> little bit funnier. And then I've got a little spot for my sunglasses that goes right here. So interior storage is adequate for extra stuff you need to use the trunk. The trunk is interesting because it's actually a fairly good amount of space, but you gotta find a way to get it in. So when I was packing our luggage, stop that. <laughs> uh, when I was packing our luggage, all those years of playing Tetris came back. So the magic formula, wheels inboard, roller bag on the right side, your backpack slid under the left side, and then my backpack back side up where the laptop is has to be on the top and then the rounded portion is sort of slots in, it all closes. <laughs> the system works, you just gotta finesse it a little bit. I'm sure right now people who are um, uh, excited to drive the new C8 Corvette are probably screaming at their uh, laptops or uh, writing in the comment section that that's a vastly superior luggage situation. But if you have all your things in a frunk, like you, so you have a package of cookies, uh -huh. will it be gently warmed the way our luggage is being warmed by the engine? <laughs> that is a feature of the NSX. If you want to keep something toasty, just put it in the back there. Uh, we got a hand pie at lunch. If we were really smart, we would have put it in the trunk area and then uh, it would have been toasty warm from when we just got gas. Mm -hmm. You have a thought? I feel like this shroud is there to prevent me from knowing how fast you're driving. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice <laughs> like that you Like, it kind can't... of impedes my view it cuts off of the... this speedometer. Okay, that's just smart ergonomics. <laughs> this is the moment where I'm going to admonish you to both like and subscribe. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. When we reach 100,000 subs, I will review a windowless white van. <laughs> if we don't die first. If we don't die when doing this uh, very aggressive passing maneuver. Style! So our car is um, painted in casino white pearl paint. And when it was dropped off yesterday, we both noted like, oh, a cool white car has shown up. And then last night we were at Ramen and uh, walking out to the parking garage, I was like, wait, is our car silver now? <laughs> so the paint kind of takes on a different character depending on where you are and uh, what the lighting looks like around it. It is the dress of cars. It is the dress of cars. Yeah, what did you see? <laughs> if it were my money, I'd still go with the orange, but the white is quite fetching. Sweetie, for $500. If you look at the exterior of uh, the NSX we're driving, you'll notice a carbon fiber spoiler, a carbon fiber engine cover, and a carbon fiber roof. Okay. For $500 with which to buy any dumb thing you'd like, uh -huh. tell me, how much do they cost in total? Ooh. Okay, 
I have no idea. So I'm going to say $10,000, which is probably way over. $21,600. Oh, wow. That's a freeze frame. <laughs> I'm not saying you couldn't have a very nice NSX without the carbon fiber, but, you know, are you serious about buying an NSX or not? <laughs> I am not. Well, then I guess you can just drive around in your lowly non-carbon fibered <laughs> NSX. Our progress is being impeded by a windowed white van. Needed full throttle. <laughs> well needed full throttle acceleration. <laughs> One of the challenges with the Acura NSX is that it looks racy, but it's not outrageous. And in this caliber of car, I think some people want the feathered fedora of automobiles. This is more my style, which is to say a vehicle that has character, it is making a statement, but that statement isn't necessarily you. <laughs> yeah, I've arrived. Everybody look at me. With um, apparel, I'm definitely in the fedora camp, mm -hmm. but I really like the look of the NSX. Like, I don't like it when we drive a sports car that's too flashy. Mm -hmm. It feels very... Um, Desperate. I wasn't going to say that, but you did, so we'll go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it looks like it can really perform, but still looks elegant. That is a great point, that the aesthetic of the car aligns with its function. It is a very fast car. 576 horsepower will do that for you. Uh, it looks like a fast car. It's merely stating that rather than screaming it at you. While I prudently wait to pass this big truck because of oncoming traffic, in motion. I've had plenty of sea time in the Acura NSX. Let's let Evie take a tap. <laughs> I can't say it. Uh, uh, oh, God, I hate it. every time we do that. What's your first emotional response to being behind the wheel of the Acura NSX? Well, I hate it. <laughs> Good job, Sensi. You're there when we need you. Not because it's not a beautiful, amazing car, because I'm afraid I'm going to destroy it. You know, that's the kind of thing that you can inoculate yourself from with experience. The more okay. you drive cars like this, the more you realize they are just cars. They just happen to be very expensive. But they're so expensive. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do. At this stop sign, give yourself a little bit of space and then push the rightmost pedal all the way to the floor until you get to like 45 or 50 miles an hour. Okay. Hanging out, hanging out. Full throttle acceleration, all the way, all the way, all the way. Go, 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 go. Brake. Feel those brakes? Nice. Those are great brakes. How did how did it feel? It's it's objectively incredible, but um, I need a moment. Oh here, huh? I put you in quiet mode. Ooh, quiet mode. That's more my style, really. We call that sweetie mode. This is definitely more. Take a right at the light. Oh, never mind. And that's also a left, so that's the wrong direction. Sorry, I see you pointed that way and I got confused. We'll take a right. Okay. I know you're not comfortable over there, so we'll keep this quick for you. Yes, for me, not for you. You'll let me know if I'm about to do something terrible, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll hear the screaming and everything. <laughs> okay. Do you feel a little better about the NSX now that we're cruising? It feels nice. Like, it doesn't feel um, skittish like some really fast cars do. It's very responsive, but in a way that is not surprising. Yes, that's a great way to put it. While we're cruising along here, uh, I'm going to put us over into quiet mode, which is uh, one of the modes we used quite a bit as we were driving up to Monterey here. If you are just steady state cruising, put it in quiet mode. It takes a lot of that engine drone out. Um, this is also the more comfortable suspension setting. Oh. And as we're cruising around here, this is a very comfortable ride for what the vehicle is capable of. So the next thing we're gonna do, for exit 401 Bravo. Okay. Feel free to take it at a slightly elevated pace. I'm gonna put you in sport plus mode. Now you're gonna feel the G's, a little firmer suspension, the dual clutch transmission's gone down a couple of gears. We're cruising in seventh now. If you wanted, you can be proactive and use that left paddle shifter. Oh, no. Pull. I don't know where it. it is. Just pull it. Okay, I didn't know where it pull was. Pull it one more time. Okay, now go through here at a zippy pace. Oh. Zippy, go, zip. <laughs> Smooth, stay within the lines. Okay, I don't know where the lines are. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I've never Fast. driven. Accelerate, accelerate, accelerate. Go, 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 go. Besides being overwhelmed by what happened there, did you but have any fun? I feel like if I was in a low consequence environment, that could have been really fun. But Come like, off the accelerator for a sec. Downshift once. Needless full throttle acceleration, go, 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 go. Upshift. 
Oh, uh, I, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, let's uh, get back to normal positions. Oh, thank God. We're back in the correct seat. We're driving at the pace we should be driving at. That is nice. Emotion factor. Sweetie, when thinking about the emotion factor of the Acura NSX, if you flip the NSX over into Sport Plus mode or heaven help you track mode, you have a more serious experience. Uh, just driving on some winding roads yesterday, we experienced that heightened emotion and it was a ton of fun. Um, and yet, you could do grocery getting in this thing. Go get that um, 24 pack of toilet paper from Costco we're always talking about. There's an adaptive emotion factor, and I like that you can make it what you want, when you want it. Remarks! We've got quite a few remarks to blast through, so let's do this in a rapid pace. But first, like this video if you like it, and if not, then I'm sorry. Evie's <laughs> sorry too. Uh, also, if you want, subscribe. Uh, at 100,000 subs, I will review a windowless white van. And at 50,000 subs, a terrible dark secret will be revealed about my hair. Making our way through the remarks, how much would you pay for this uh, cup holder? Keeping in mind that all it does is stick in the side here. This seems like a very low-fi solution to, I have a cup from Starbucks and I'm not sure where to put it, but it actually works. Is it impeding on your leg space at all? No, not really. And I like it way better than the pop-out options that are in some other sporty vehicles. It doesn't expand, so you're only going to be able to put cups that are of this um, circumference, that's but a good point. yeah, yeah, I think that's a, a fine solution. Fun story, I got my start in radio and we were driving through Bakersfield or near Bakersfield, California yesterday. I wanted to listen to my old AM radio station. The Acura NSX does not have AM radio. I have no CD player, no AM radio. If you ever needed confirmation that I got out of the uh, radio industry at the right time, <laughs> that would be your cue. Sweetie, is the Acura NSX child friendly? Yay! Moving on. When backing up, I like the fact that there are multiple backup angles, but the resolution of the camera is fairly low. Let's say you're a novice driver and you really, really don't want to hurt it. <laughs> a little clearer resolution on the backup camera might be nice. Yes. So yesterday, I was attempting to adjust the volume on the um, radio, but instead, I put it into Sport Plus mode. That's true. There's this big mode uh, knob here. It approximates the look of a big volume knob <laughs> and uh it says dynamic mode very clearly on it this is my own carelessness but yeah, yeah it is correctly labeled but you know if, if uh you're just reaching for the biggest knob available if i i'm outside of your grasp this is going to be the other one you're going to go for <laughs> One more detail about the livability of the Acura NSX is if you want to make a scene with crazy opening doors, you're going to have to find another supercar. These doors just sort of open. So the length of the door is actually longer than the uh, aperture through which you uh, ingress or egress. If you're trying to get out in a narrow um, car park, th there's a chance you might door ding somebody unless you're really careful. But climbing in or climbing out is pretty darn easy. I enjoyed going around that corner. You did? <laughs> I did. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> One of these days, all this Micah Drives video making is going to turn you. And then you're going to. I agree. You're, you're going to learn to love the wheel. <laughs> I don't know why that sounded weird, it but sounded it kind of sounded weird. It sounded super dirty, but I don't know why. Because everything sounds dirty when we do a video together. <laughs> One remark related to the seats I love so much, they are heated, but there is no ventilation option in the next generation of NSX. If you could add some cooled seats, that'd be great. And you'll be even better, uh, blind spot warning and maybe lane keeping assist and dynamic cruise control because for long distance driving, that might actually be nice. Yeah. Did we miss any remarks? Tell us in the comment section. Hey, I do a lot of shouting, sweetie. You yell conclusion. Conclusion. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, after uh, driving from LA to Monterey, I did not feel fatigued. I feel, I feel good. What do you think? I enjoyed, I really enjoyed my ride. Uh, start over, we were weaving through the, uh, I like it. <laughs> Lazy <laughs> So we're in agreement that the Acura NSX is a, uh, a proper long distance supercar. Oh, you know what? We have to encapsulate its essence. Something that is long and strong. 
the I'm damn get the, the friction, friction on. <laughs> the Acura NSX is the Sir mix a lot of supercars. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and hit the bell at 100,000 subscribers. I will review a windowless white van. Micah drives 100K. And now here's a montage of all the stuff we did at Laguna Seca. And yeah, I'm just gonna say Laguna Seca because I'm tired of, of preceding that. <laughs> I didn't call it Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca when Mazda was sponsoring it. I'm sure as hell not gonna call it. Um, well, maybe I will call it. Maybe it'll be a sponsor in the future. Hmm. Hey, I sure am enjoying our time at WeatherTech Raceway uh, at Laguna Seca. Good times, everybody.